So let's talk about the college side first, uh, or really any um, even secondary private school needs, as the case were. You may have heard of a 529 plan. Very commonly thrown around there. Uh, our, most of our clients have at least heard of it, but they don't really understand the dynamics of it. So let's talk about the advantages. And I don't know that I'd go full on and say disadvantage here, John, but it is definitely something clients need to know about and maybe consider other options. But a 529 plan is built just for educational purposes. You as a parent or even a grandparent can make contributions into this 529 plan and it is a great tax advantage for you to do so on the front end if you are contributing into a plan in which uh, the state administers and you live in that state. In other words, the Arkansas gift plan is the 529 plan that is run here. If you live in the state of Arkansas and you contribute to the Arkansas gift plan, there's a tax deduction for up to $10,000 for a married couple to put money into that on an annual basis. So you get a tax deduction on the front end on your state income taxes. And then if the money is pulled out for qualified educational expenses for that child, it is tax-free for uh, tuition, for even things outside of that like computers. But there is a list that is restrictive on what uh, a qualified education expense is. Yeah, and, and there are a lot of uh, what-ifs, uh, we'll mm -hmm. call them, in a 529 plan. And we're going to talk about some other alternatives here on that. But a 529 plan is specifically for college. Uh, you can put up to like $250,000 in it. Uh, contributions uh, can be applied on an annual basis or a monthly basis or whatever the case may be. And as Scott said, it is literally tax-free. Of course, you've already paid tax on the money going in, uh, but the earnings that as they come out are tax-free. Now, that has to be spent for college, and, and you have all kinds of issues if that is not spent for college. You get a 10% penalty if it's not spent for college, and the IRS is pretty good at, at going back and checking those things. I've had several clients say that they check they, they actually check them as far as their 529 expenses are concerned. So you've got that. You've got a, a Coverdale savings account, which also is a, a very similar to a 529 plan, except your contribution limits are only $2,000 in the Coverdale. A lot of our clients, Scott, just invest in mutual funds that are jointly held by the husband and wife because they've got, they maintain control over that money. There's right. no restrictions on how they spend it. They don't get the tax benefits that you outlined with the 529, but they have more control and less restrictions. Yeah, free of the penalties. Yeah, yes. you have a lot more flexibility at that point, too. Mm -hmm. Now, the 529, if your child doesn't go to college or um, they don't use all the money. There, there are a lot of availability to pass that on to another sibling, to a cousin. It has to be a relative, but that relative list is, I mean, pretty, pretty expensive. Pretty broad. Yeah, expensive, so. yes. It's a family reunion type it's, list. It's a family reunion. Oh, I know yeah. Joe. I saw him three years ago. Exactly. And, but you have to ask yourself, are you really interested in, in uh, funding your cousin's college education <laughs> yeah. or something like that? Right. But, but here's the thing I think that a lot of people think about. They don't know early on whether their kid's going to go to college or not. Right. And college is not necessarily for everybody. Do they want to have the flexibility to give them that money when they want to give it to them, have control of it until they want to give it to them, and then give it to them to do things like maybe start a business or buy a house or whatever the, the laundry list might be to get started in life. 529 plans don't get you started in life, they pay for college. And a mutual fund or some other type investment that grows and you pay taxes on the earnings over time and you can have ways of limiting that by picking the investments that you fund that mutual fund with. But at any rate, there is a lot of options for this and I think it, it really does depend on the, the client or the parent's temperament, what they want to do and how much control they want to have over that. Want more content like this delivered to your inbox weekly? Visit fastest4.com to learn more.